Hello folks and uh, welcome to Iron Earth Reborn. We are in the latest build in the development branch, a version that probably you won't be getting exactly like this. Uh, let's uh, go back to our adventure and I will show you what's different. So we are here in uh, Seagull's Rest where we completed the challenge and uh, our next uh, step in the journey is to head to Lucina and do these uh, two challenges right here. Uh, before we do that, I will uh, uh, enter my headquarters, go to my library, and uh, upgrade my thievery. So, improve an expertise you already have. Thievery. And uh, I will also head to my alchemy lab and order some alchemical supplies so we can stash them and also they are common now before we go to crafting any potions let's uh, jump to our deck builder I will type here uh, arts arts Alchemy, which uh, will show us uh, the cards that belong in the alchemy archetype. This means that we don't have any potions at all. We don't have any alchemy potions at all. Okay. So we can safely craft whatever we want. And uh, let's go with uh, the cure bleeding. Stas it, your feeble mind, stas it, filter of healing, there is also a potion of healing, and uh, we run out of ingredients, so let's go buy some more, stas, 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 It's uh, much cheaper than uh, purchasing the the potion itself. Okay, so we can also build a potion of adrenaline. Let's start that too. And uh, we can uh, get a cure in venom, then we can get a cure frostbite. If we want. This will cost us our bleeding and uh, feeble mind potions. So, which uh, we can uh, we can make again. So, stash one of this. Stash one of this. We don't have any more alchemy ingredients. And uh, you could uh, try making a profit through alchemy. I guess it's a superior option. You can't uh, uh, use again the recipes you already have in the same visit. So if I want to craft again these potions I just crafted, I will have to come back to my headquarters later. And uh, we can also get a Venom coat. Uh, that's uh, what we can learn with, uh, we can uh, craft with the alchemy we have at the moment. So let's uh, now visit the town. We are in Sunset Stores. Ah, there is no town here, right. Okay, so travel to Lucina. I see. So the change uh, that you will notice here is that um, uh, your allies have this uh, lock button which uh, you can click and change from protected to unprotected and uh, this will uh, help you manage uh, better which allies you want to keep and which allies you don't uh, when you pass your summon limit so uh, let's um, 
continue. <coughs> Nel tapis vulnerable. Attack. Alondra gained 14 XP. The tomb contains valuable knowledge. Let's see what it has. We can learn these inquisitor actions. Hmm. Missive is quite interesting, so let's learn uh, missive, I guess. Now, of course, we got uh, the wrong. Grimoire. We shouldn't have gotten uh, Inquisitor actions, but Illusionist, which <laughs> we need to fix it. But uh, oh, that's the theory. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's use Basilicus. Change to our hacks form. Grab one of these blue darlings. Now Alondra will uh, leave our company and uh, it doesn't seem to be anything we can do about that. Trust them. So we're in Lucina, and uh, before we can visit the town, uh, let's go do the Edith Challenge. Can uh, blackmail them uh, to join us, uh, but they need weaken first. Mutual slaughter. Okay, let's use uh, the Marubium Vulgare. Sí, 
has the Raven form. Let's put this one in the front. Okay, so that was the two. This is one of the cases where you want to protect your allies in case, for example, you don't uh, care about the zombie but you are in uh, the cup. Protecting all your allies means that no new allies can enter the battlefield. But uh, otherwise, the first unprotected ally will go once you uh, pass your limit. Tests flesh. Now also notice that uh, Kalist is properly wicked. I made all hugs to be counting as wicked. And uh, protected now is grayed out as a type. It means that it doesn't count if you try to add uh, a type on your allies. It doesn't count uh, towards the number. So, Madame Ophelia has uh, three types, while well, before this uh, patch it had uh, four. Protected was counting as a type. And uh, you couldn't give her a new one, like make her a hug, for example. Uh, which was uh, really unfortunate. Okay, so green, rotting flesh. Can't target here because it's a boss, but uh, my bell dams can. They can give her festering. Let's get the puppet. We can. An attack with Madame Ophelia and with Kalisti. Sentient Tiger. Okay, so a challenge uh, way beyond, below, below our uh, level. Nothing to be concerned about. Let's grab uh, uh, the orb. and return to the world map. So, Count Rocks will be more challenging. Um, but I think we will be able to manage. Okay, let's uh, start by... with this death card here. We'll awaken him and control him. Level up. Level up. Let's uh, play Hugs form. Give this one bleeding. Attack him with the bell dams. Ravens form. Stun creep, bleed, inevitable bleed, weakened target, non undead. Like the Zephyr Sculpture, for example. Stun creep. And we will pass. Attack, thrust. Ok, 
Okay, so far so good. Sister of Blood. Chupacabra. Mapa Noble. So as you can see, the enemies here don't joke around. Let's blackmail the Chupacabra. We can also blackmail this one after that. Um, Power and Uncle, multicast it. So this one will take twenty nine damage. It's immune to bleeding. All of them. Let's use these guys for um, defend. Okay, and uh, we also got a level, so let's see what we can get. Uh, we have one reserved for thievery, but uh, we can spend the other point, I guess. In the meantime, we also can uh, get Time Lord, uh, we should uh, get uh, Morrigan's uh, hair and Morrigan at level 12 and 16. In the meantime, let's get uh, the Master Summon so we can also get the focus. Alter self we completed the path alchemy we can get mastery or venom extraction and venomous formula now I will get mastery for a quick boost in my alchemy and uh, my other stats and uh, well, also can get an extraction. Control enemy 18. Let's 
add some uh, more of this to him. So pass, he will go to four. We could use the company for the boss. Which uh, is level 13, meaning that uh, uh, we can affect with some spells. Can also use uh, penetrate. This is not enough to cripple him. Okay, no, nothing of this. Uh, this has the potential, but it doesn't have any effect that we care about. So let's just use this. So our inevitably vulnerable. Hmm. Now we can affect him. If we had our claws, we could uh, weaken him, we could control him, and uh, we could call it a day. But uh, it's okay. Or if we had them power. Hugs form, reveal self. It's multicast this with envy. So we defeated Count uh, Rocks and we got some uh, more perk points. We can also get uh, either the dagger, the band, or the card. I think um, we'll get uh, this Moonstone dagger. This is very, very useful. 
especially if you are low on health, but um, no, I guess I can't get it. Who knows when we will need it? So, Miriel and Tithuriel is now level 13 to 16 challenge because all the areas are uh, growing in levels make the king them uh, more re relevant to revisit so let's uh, now head to to me race I guess from here Turn into beast, target enemy, destroy, add one feral beast to draw pile, and if you discard it, uh, you can rally a beast, and that's the beast. Okay, we will buy one copy. Flames of Corruption, Herbal Politics, Explode Weakness, which are. Painful death. Penetrate 4, vulnerable 6, decay, and uh, it adds a delayed doom. So, on the second echo, it will have the doom counters, so the decay will multiply these doom counters into life loss, which would be very painful indeed uh, once this reaches uh, max level. What else can we get? I want a few more bell dams. Corrupted Kyrn. Reactivate Hagar Lies. And uh, you can either use Rite of Fertility, Timur Power, Timur Health, and the Gambit of uh, Hag. Rite of Health or Rite of Power. Yeah, we can buy the kayak. And uh, let's look for some eruditions too before we go. We find it uh, affordable. Speaking of uh, affordable, Let's uh, sell this stuff. I will keep it in case we get uh, burning and we need a lot of uh, hex work. Ritual of Enlightenment Snail figurine There's a cursed grimoire, it's uh, great Lose 6 hit points, draw 3 cards Okay, so I will uh, leave town, I will uh, go to my deck builder 
and uh, we were playing with our uh, hack deck we'll remove hangover we'll remove uh, I can remove one of these two of these I want to add in the painful death. I will add uh, a thunderstorm or a thunderstorm will be more useful if we had this uh, chaos modifier if we are playing the other uh, Morgan ancestry. Let's get the cairn. Mars nail extract. Okay, so we are at uh, 35 cards. Let's review the situation. Uh, this is our new deck. We will be Manan's decks, Night Hard 1, zero 1. So it got updated. And we will be heading to Nireis. We can travel directly to Nereis from here. So let's go to Twin Pillars. First, the Twin Pillars by land. We can uh, safely shuffle our deck at this point. So our hug clothes are now level 7. That's pretty awesome. Have uh, good and uh, all their morph except the final which creates uh, two copies per draw. So let's grab uh, this one. This is a hug. This is not a hug, unfortunately. Let's play the card. Reveal self. So this one has uh, a right of fertility, which uh, we can get one in our hand. Choose and draw. We can't use the rest. They need a higher uh, ritual than we have. And
So we get a hug, we also get uh, part 7 and health 10 in our next summon. Hmm. But we don't have a next summon. Search for valuables. Confuse. Target non boss enemy. Vulnerable. Delayed freeze. Discard stun. So the discard ability can affect a boss if stun can affect them and you have the potential. But uh, otherwise it will delay freeze any enemy. That's worth to have in our stats. Let's look for tracks, follow them. They stop in a clearing. So let's bring a night hug. Now this time we've got a forest hug. Now ideally when we use this card we should have a second ally to use. Thras. So one of them carries a heavy pouch filled with fardings and valuable gems. And uh, we should pick the highest uh, tiers, so Aquamarine and uh, Onyx I guess, or Jade, no Onyx I picked. In the chest. <coughs> Gather some wood. Now we could set up a camp here and uh, brew some tier 1 potions if you want. You can. Uh, let's get a cure bleeding. Let's get. Uh, we already have a potion of healing, filter, etc. We'll get a feeble mind. We use them uh, to build the higher tier ones. So let's continue. We are in twin pillars. And uh, we can go for the Kathia challenge before we move to Nireis. Let's play right of uh, fertility. We'll move my highest level ally in the front. And I will play one more hug. Now this one is much stronger because she came out of uh, the right of fertility. Okay, the golem we will be controlling, so let's get rid of some allies, like this one, this one. Okay, we can uh, now sacrifice uh, this one to control the golem. You can always uh, sacrifice manually. And we use our golem to crush the dark commander.
let's uh, start crippling uh, this one to control him He resisted the witch, which is um, unfortunate. Let's attack with our golem since we can control him. Let's kill him. Let's use our sloth here. Destroy enemy with 18 hit points, add feral beast to draw pile. And uh, Kathia we can just recruit. So we'll have Kathia for five rounds. Vampire Noble, Astral Elemental, Vanellia Wick, Reactivate Allies. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's grab a Vampire Noble to our stars. So we can't uh, do much uh, more here at the moment, but uh, we can head to Nireis. We are denied entry here, we will be denied entry in uh, Nireis too, but we should have enough uh, rations to live.
let's um, Deactivate allies, allies hit points plus 12. Okay, so I don't think I can uh, control either of these, they are way too, too tough, but I might be able to control this one. Allies heal, allies reactivate. Defend retribution. Defend twenty one. Entangled. They skip. Let's get the uh, Orimona. We have enough uh, defense to survive uh, the spider. Okay, that was <laughs> a hell of a spider. Let's uh, join the witchcraft ceremony. They don't know I'm a hug just yet. And uh, the Inquisitors crash the party. So let's uh, not only that, they also kill one of us. We will kill them back. We will 
but first I will um, I'll control this one. Unfettered, unfettered, hack slow, dead, dead. So it's only the Inquisition Lieutenant, which uh, won't be much of a problem. He's already dead. Let's just make sure he will die. Let's attend the funeral. And uh, why not have them join our call? So, we get uh, both of them. Sahar has a Frost Wave, which targets a non-boss enemy. Multicast uh, 2 if we have Witchcraft, they get Vulnerable, we deal Water Damage and they get Delayed Freeze. This is Water. And uh, Alisa is Fire. Split Astral, if we have Witchcraft, we heal 5 hit points, burn, deal 3 to 7 fire damage. They also have a freeze and burn morale. So overall they are pretty good, but uh, they don't quite match what we can do. So stash them. And continue. We arrive in Iris. And uh, here we have uh, lots of silence, which uh, we will be doing in the next uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I will be seeing you in the next uh, video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.